Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a kind of a short video on how to rebuild your shimmy damper found on your Cessna 150s and 172s and maybe perhaps others, I don't know. Uh, here, here's one that I've already uh, rebuilt and ready to go back on. It's real simple to do. These are only the, the three O-rings that you need. Uh, this is for another one, another uh, damper that I'll be rebuilding here in the future too. But uh, really, this is like I said, this is a completed one. The, the only thing, the, the only tool that you'll need is some snap ring pliers. You'll take this snap ring out right here. And when you do, the little, the little rod, you'll, you'll pull the rod all the way through as far as you can. Uh, take you some air, put in the end of the hole, compressed air, and blow in there and it'll pop this little uh, end out right here. This, this, this floats in and out. And uh, once you get that out, you're, you're good to go. There's uh, these two little old rings. That's right here. These two little old rings that you see right here. One goes underneath here, and the other one goes in the end that you see here. That's and that's all there is to it. In order to get this this end off here, you have to remove this pin here, which you do with a I believe it's a three thirty second punch. All I do is just drive it through until you can slide this off the end of the shaft. And once you do that, you can remove this piece here and replace it with one of these O-rings here. Goes inside of this little, and underneath here there's a groove where it fits into. The larger one that you see here is actually this O-ring here. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, you'll you'll put it you'll slide it back together. It's hard for me to do both here, uh, film and. But you'll slide it back together. This will go in. Once you get this, once you get this pushed back down in, you will put your snap ring on it, and it'll look just like this, just like that. Uh, with the rod, the rod pull through, you can have your hole like this and you can put your uh, fluid in it I use the same fluid that I use in the brakes uh, look that up in your manual and it'll tell you what to do uh, and then when you put it back through uh, you're, you're, you're good to go and you'll be just like this but never ever when when your friend comes over to help you never let him or her pull this rod all the way through because you'll lose your fluid okay Hope this helps. Uh, any any questions, comments, uh, leave them below. I'll paint this up a little bit, make it a little bit look look better. I'm not an A and P. I'm not an A and I. I'm not a. I'm not anything. I'm just a general flunky out here uh, working on a couple of uh, airplanes. All right. Thank you. Good luck.